The Vatican has made a new discovery on how Catholics helped the Jewish people during World War II. The Pontifical Biblical Institute revealed the never before seen documents, which included a list of dozens of religious congregations that provided refuge to the Jewish people. The papers also reveal the stories of more than 3,000 Jews fleeing from the Nazis, where they were hidden and their lives before the persecution. The Vatican is just days away from beatifying an entire family who was killed for hiding Jewish people during the war. In March of 1944, Nazis raided the home of Joseph and Victoria Ulma in southeast Poland, where they discovered eight Jews taking refuge on their farm. The Nazis shot the Polish couple and their seven children. The youngest Polish bishops say will be the first unborn baby to be beatified. The national correspondent for the tablet and crux, John Lavenberg, was was in Poland as the country prepares for that beatification. He joins us now in Rome to tell us more about it. Hi, John. Hi, Christine. So, John, you were in Markova, the small village where the Oma family is from. It's got a population of about 4,000 people, but some 32,000 are registered to attend the beatification this weekend. So tell us, how is the village preparing? That's exactly right, Christine, and the scale, the scale of this event and the size of the village really puts into perspective how difficult this will be to pull off. But as, as we speak right now, they're finalizing preparations. There's a soccer field about a mile and a half from the Oma family home um, and about a half a mile or so, maybe less, from their gravesite that they're turning into a huge setup for this event. So right now, there's all this construction going on, working around the clock to try and get this set. Yeah, and apparently there are still deep connections to the Olma family in Markovo. What did you hear from the people there? You know, how do they feel about the beatification? You know, the, the inspiring thing about Markovo, when you talk about them, about the Olma family, it goes back much further than 2003 when this beatification process was started. It's something they were always proud of within their homes, within their families. It's something they always passed down. Many of them have deep personal connections to the Olma family. Um, and as one woman puts it who works for the parish and was actually my tour guide taking me to these different sites related to the Olma family, uh, the gravesite in particular, it's just special to them. It's a place they always go to pray, um, and it's a place a source of hope for them and a source of inspiration and that's kind of a small insight into just how much this really means for them and as we mentioned this beatification is unique because polish bishops say it'll be the first time an unborn baby will be beatified explain that situation more to us how can the vatican beatify an unborn child yeah, so Christine, this is actually something the Vatican commented on itself this week, and they kind of dispelled the notion that it's the first time that an unborn child would be beatified. What they said was that the mother, as um, she was killed, she actually gave birth because of how late she was in her pregnancy. And as far as that works with the beatification and actually the baptism of the child, they said the following. They said the church has always held the firm conviction that those who suffer death for the sake of faith without having received baptism are, baptiz are baptized by their death. So essentially what they're saying is that this Un unborn child, this unnamed child, excuse me, was baptized by the fact um, that it was killed and martyred, and um, that's that's how they're going to approach it. But two things still remain true in that one, it is the first time that a whole family will be beatified in that two, this unnamed child along with the entire family will live on for a long time um, and be an inspiration for Catholics all over the world. And John, before we go, we have a surprise for you. We purchased a photo and it hasn't come in yet, but here's the proof. You had a meeting with Pope Francis. Francis, tell us all about it. Yeah, so I had the privilege um, yesterday to, to have a special ticket to the Gen Pope Francis general audience, where at the end I was able to shake his hand and have a few seconds with him. Um, I basically just offered my prayers for him, and he gave me a smile back, um, and then he kept going down to the other people. But it was a very special moment, and one I'll certainly never forget. So exciting. All right, John Lavenberg, the national correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Christine. To read more about John's reporting on the Alma family and the latest on the beatification, just go to thetablet.org. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.